Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a chapter to your YouTube video. Chapter is used to break down our videos into sections, and each of them will have individual preview in the progress bar. It is sort of table of contents of our videos, and this will really help our viewers as it allows them to rewatch and directly go to a specific portion of our videos in just one click. Alright, let me show you. To add a chapter, just log into your YouTube account, then proceed to videos and select and play the specific video you want. In this video, you will see two blue buttons below. Click the edit video and proceed to the description. Here in the video details, you just go to the description and this is where you need to put your timeline. So let me paste that. There you go. Our timelines should always start at 00. zero and it should be in ascending order. Our format is mm colon ss. It means uh, minutes and seconds. All right, there you go. The format I have here is the minutes and seconds followed by the chapter or section name. It is basically the title of the topic or subject of that chapter. And YouTube recommends to have at least 10 seconds minimum for each of them. So between these three or as many as you have, at least 10 seconds apart. To create my timeline, I use the video in my computer. This is the exact version of what I have in YouTube. Uh, for you, you can use your uploaded video in YouTube, or if you have a copy in your desktop, you can use that. Or if you're using mobile, then use YouTube video. And you can just use a notebook and a ball pen. Then you can just type it out in the description. It really depends on your preference. So what I did in mine is I laid out the required format and set the time and corresponding titles. I manually look for every section or topic that is relevant then update my timeline in the editor. I know it is a lot of work for longer videos but it will be worth it. I guess for future reference to save time, I highly recommend that when you produce a video, just create a timeline draft just along the way uh, when you are doing things. Then you can use that as a reference. Also if your video is a structure or guide, then you're in luck. You can use them as reference as well. All right, now it's done. All we need to do is highlight everything, copy, and that's the one that you're going to paste in the description. That's going to serve as your timeline. Now with all these changes, and all you need to do now is go to this blue button here, save, and click save. There you go. Save changes. To see the changes, we go to our video. There you go. And let's see what we have. Okay. Now, we're going to see the changes. So, we scroll down here. Perfect. So, we have our chapters and the individual chapters here. Good. Then, let's check our progress bar. There you go. As you can see. We have our chapters. Now it will be easy for our user or viewers to rewatch any sections or chapters because they have reference. Sorting sections, live streams, add section demo playlist, and guess and do a guesswork. They just need to uh, click to the specific sections. They can do it here or they can go and use the description here for example sorting section topic if you click that there you go it goes from the start of this uh, specific section which is a sorting sections if you do it on out through there you go if you do it if publish changes there you go publish changes there you have it as you can see advantage of having chapters in your video and description i really do hope that you learned something thank you for watching and please subscribe.